Hello everyone, I'm Captain Logan, and tonight I'm going to play a little Sonic CD, a game I haven't played in a pretty good long time, and that I've never gotten great at. Oh, one second. Let's get right into it, shall we? So this is my wife's absolute favorite Sonic game, and we used to play it together somewhat frequently. I didn't realize you could play as Tails in this game, and I don't know if that's like an added thing that the Steam version does or what, but that's news to me. Uh, this opening cinematic is always really pretty, and it seems like uh, Sonic Origins is looking at this quite a bit with the cinematics they're doing for that game, which is really neat. We'll go ahead and skip it, though, and just get right into this. Uh, so. I'm not super knowledgeable with this game, uh, so I'm sure if some folks come in tonight that have uh, played this quite a bit and know the history of it a lot better than I do, we'll learn some things. I kind of just wanted to play it because it's been a long time, and I was looking at my Steam tonight and I was like, oh yeah, that's right, I bought this not too long ago, and uh, I have it in, in other places, but uh, I bought it in case I wanted to stream it. And it was on sale with a bunch, bunch of other stuff I bought around Christmas. Uh, look at that hole in that's uh, in the shape of Sonic. I never noticed that before. And I was like, you know, I, I'm a little bit ahead on my reading for tomorrow. Uh, tonight is maybe a good time to try this. So I thought I would. Thomas Lowe, you're going to break your previous record again. Well, my record on this is I've never beaten it, so I don't have, like, a time record or anything. Uh, but, yeah, I got really excited. So we didn't do any time traveling there. Uh, I got really excited about uh, beating my time record for uh, Donkey Kong Country. And I've been playing two a little bit here and there when I've got a little time. And uh, I want to do a stream on that and try to see how quickly I can get through it after I get a little better at it. Or I might just do another stream at some point just to see if I can even play that whole game on camera. It's not the easiest thing in the world. I, I have beaten it before, uh, but it took much, much longer than it takes me to get through Dunkirk on Country 1. I don't think you'll see me beat this game tonight. Uh, I'd like to get maybe halfway through it, that'd be nice. Uh, there's a battle with Metal Sonic that I've never been past. Uh, so I've never seen this whole game. Uh, I haven't even watched uh, gameplay of this whole game. Uh, I've always enjoyed this. Uh, I don't like it as much as my favorite Genesis games, but I get why it's beloved, and it's just kind of a personal preference thing more than anything. Uh, I think it's wonderfully ambitious. I, I thought we might actually time travel there, but it, it didn't happen. Um, I want to say I like the more um, linear Sonic games, but I guess that's not really true because I like having a lot of multiple paths and stuff, uh, but the level designs with this game are just kind of chaotic and mazy and all over the place and uh, not quite as, I don't know, systematic and... I, I think is well thought out is the Genesis games. It's just a different approach, really. I'm not even sure thought out is the right way to put it, but it's just different. It's a little more wacky and wild and nuts. Uh, welcome if you're watching live. Hi there, Josh. Hi, Rainbow Nightmare. Plus DX. Good to see you guys. I will chat with you here and there. I'm pretty sure the version I'm playing... Right now is the American soundtrack as opposed to the Japanese soundtrack. That's how I remember it. Let me know if I'm wrong about that, because, again, it's been a while. Uh, but this is the soundtrack, whichever it is. I'm pretty sure it's the American uh, one that I played first. And I've always liked it a little bit more, though I, I like certain tracks better on certain versions. And they're both really cool soundtracks. Uh, no, this must be the Japanese one, because the American one, when you get to the end has of a level, uh, has this ridiculous closing theme that sound that seems like it never ends. It's so it's so convoluted; it just keeps going. Uh, it's it, it's like uh, -da -da -da, dun 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 dun. It just it just keeps going, and it, it never ends. There's Amy Rose. Oh my God, 
I can't believe they put spikes right there. I completely forgot about that. That's not fair. Now, I, I did walk right into it, but uh, Amy Rose, why didn't why didn't you warn me? Oh, Metal Sonic breaks through it. Okay, you just have to wait for a second. It's been a while. I first played this game because I didn't have a Sonic CD growing up, and I'd always heard this. It seemed like this kind of legendary, mystical game that I didn't know if I would ever have a chance to play. Are we going to get there this time? Yes, there we go. Uh, future? I'm, I'm not even sure if I went past or future. Um, I set this up so that we could see uh, comments on the stream, but they seem to be not large enough. Uh, thank you, Japanese soundtrack, says John Pike. Uh, yeah, for some reason, I thought that opening theme was an American track, and then once we got to the next level, I was like, no, this is clearly the Japanese soundtrack. Uh, so anyway, I played this game first on the GameCube, on the Gems Collection, and Sonic CD was the reason to get the Gems Collection. Uh, there's some other uh, kind of fun... Um, lesser-known Sonic titles on that. Uh, I was I always liked Sonic Fighters as a guilty pleasure, and I grew up with Sonic R uh, on the Saturn, and that is a ridiculous game. But uh, I've always I've always loved the soundtrack again, somewhat ironically, and uh, I actually have that on the still on the uh, the Saturn. But it was uh, kind of cool to have all that stuff in one place, and as a compliment to the uh, Sonic Mega Collection. And for whatever reason, it had the American version of the soundtrack. Bum, 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 bum. So yeah, one of the cool novelties of this game is just all the different ways you can play through levels. Uh, because depending on when you end up going to past or future or present, uh, while you're in the middle of one of those, the level will be very different, and so it has a different kind of replay value than the others. Tom Slow, there's going to be a new open-world Sonic game coming soon. Yeah, and uh, that is already getting a reputation based on the most recent gameplay that we got for that, uh, which looks a lot more like a test demo or something. And I... Uh, I was impressed with the landscapes and exactly nothing else, uh, but hopefully that's Sonic Frontiers. I've always wanted open-world Sonic. I, I'm still holding out hope that somehow that game, I, uh, that somehow they're just at, you know, an early enough stage or they're showing us footage from an early enough stage that it will impress us once we finally get it. I'm not sure when that game is supposed to come out, how far in development that even is. I haven't followed it that closely, but I did see that footage. And, uh, I don't know, like I said, the landscapes are really pretty. It's still not what I want from a Sonic game. Um, I just don't care about Sonic looking like he, he's in the real world. And it it looks like a Breath of the Wild ripoff, uh, just like it it did from the first, uh, you know, trailer we got. Oh, there's two of them! Ah! Well, it wouldn't have mattered. I couldn't get the one I was going after anyway, but... Blue's Cox, hey, Cap, do you like the Sonic movies? Um... The short answer is not really. I enjoyed that new one more than a lot of people, uh, or at least a lot of my friends did. I, I guess those movies are have been pretty popular. Um, I I have not been impressed with them you know, story wise, and it's not really what I want from Sonic. Uh, but it used a lot more mythology and aesthetic than the first one did, uh, that second movie. That's really kind of all I was looking for, so I had a hard time not being more impressed with it and happier with it. Hope everybody can hear me okay. Let me know if... I always say this on these streams, but I can never totally tell uh, if the music is overbalancing the sound of my voice. But hopefully I set it up right. Ah! Let's go to the future, you guys. Yeah, we're going to the future. Thomas Lowe, what is your history with the Sonic cartoons? Um, so the sort of more serious Saturday morning cartoon, uh, I didn't really grow up with. I think I saw an episode or two of that here and there. And again, it was this kind of weird 
mystical thing to me where I was like, this looks really interesting, and I couldn't figure out, you know, what it was on, and I just never ended up seeing more than, like, an episode of it. I had a storybook from that show, and that's what I most remember from that. It was a thing about uh, Sonic's, like, missing shoes, and it was a mystery to try to find his shoes. Uh, but then the sillier cartoon I grew up with, or I, I watched uh, a little bit more. I saw the Mario cartoon a lot more than I saw the Sonic cartoon. My kids uh, adore that goofier Sonic cartoon, and uh, they watch it all the time still. Well, folks, we're doing okay so far. We haven't gotten horribly lost yet. We did die once because I was an idiot not paying attention to spikes. These levels are a little shorter than I remember. I guess the idea is that you'll maybe spend a little bit more time in them if you uh, do more time travel -y stuff. Although I don't think that actually makes the levels any longer or shorter because it just changes the aesthetic and where the platforms are and things. Uh, I've always kind of liked... I mean, again, it's it's real chaotic and kind of crazy, but I've always liked uh, that depending on where you are time-wise, uh, you'll see rings and other things that you can't get to because certain parts of the level either have not been developed yet or will be developed later. And that's a really fun idea. So now we gotta try to kill this crazy boss. Uh, this starts to be... to feel a little bit like a precursor to uh, Sonic Spinball. It's a lot more pinball machine-y. That is an annoying sound. And I will try to finish this as quickly as I can so we don't have to listen to that forever. Gosh! I'm pretty sure Sonic CD predates Sonic Spinball. Maybe we'll do that one of these nights, uh, although I need some practice at it. I, I, I used to be able to get to the third level sometimes. Uh, there are four stages in that, and it is tough, man. I've been on a pinball kick lately, and that's been making me want to go back to that, but... Okay, we got him. I forgot that you just kind of get above those pinball flippers and then knock the platform up and then you're done. I thought we were going to have to actually fight a crazy boss. For a second, I was thinking uh, Robotnik is a spider, and then I went, no, that's the end of the first level of Sonic Spinball. A slip maker, Cap, have you ever tried the game Shovel Knight? I, I love Shovel Knight. Uh, I don't think I've ever played all the way through the first game. Th this is a level where I like the American track a little bit better. Uh, and I kind of wish we were listening to that right now. This one's fine, but uh, it's it's a lot of fun. I Years ago, I did a top 10 favorite uh, Sonic tracks list from this era, and that was one of the songs I picked. Uh, it does fun things with the sound of Sonic getting a breath underwater. Hey, thanks to everybody who came in and watched uh, Rewind Unscripted last night. Uh, it wasn't a superhero movie, so I had to hesitate for a second. Uh, we did Attack of the Clones. And I spent two full hours on that and didn't understand where the time went. I got an hour into that and was like, I haven't even gotten to the main crux of what I wanted to talk about with all the questions I asked. Uh, but you guys were wonderful and lovely and had a lot of insightful things to bring to the table. And I kind of wish I had been able to interact with you more, but it can happen on Sunday. Uh, but if all goes according to plan, I'm doing a, a revisited video on the first rainy Spider-Man. I was hoping that would go above the water so that I could get a breath there. And so, uh, as always, 10 o'clock, I know it's late, uh, 10 o'clock Central Time, Sunday night, and I thought I'd mention it in case you want to go back and revisit that movie for yourself this week. I'm sure a lot of us went back and watched that again already, uh, somewhat recently before No Way Home. But in case it's been a while, check that out. I 
did a rewind on that real, real early, so like 12 years ago now, uh, almost 13, and maybe it was 13. Okay, I thought maybe there was a wall coming at me, but apparently not. And then I was like, ah, am I gonna die? I don't really remember this level very well, but I'm doing okay with it so far. Shades of Labyrinth Zone. Shades of Marble Zone, really, too. Uh, we're, we're saving plants this time instead of animals, you guys. I think that's what's happening. But anyway, when I make a lot shorter videos back then, but uh, I never really fully reviewed that video because all I or that movie because all I really did was talk about missteps I thought it made in uh, what a reboot. I guess I won't bother with trying to go backwards. Uh, might do better. And also, things it did well that a reboot should continue with. And we've had two reboots since then. It's crazy. Uh, Slip Maker. Last six season of Better Call Saul was a mediocre. Oh, oh, sad to hear that. It was a bit mediocre. But then it got one last chance at mid-season finale and totally redeemed itself. I'm glad to hear that. Um, I don't know when I'm going to have a chance to finally catch up on that show. I... Uh, I've only seen through, I think, the uh, third season, and it's been too long to just start watching it again. I've got to rewatch everything, so it's a bit of a tall order, but I definitely want to do that. I've heard a lot of people say that they think that show is better than Breaking Bad, and uh, it's, it's wild to think that it might have gotten to that level. But I hear that all, almost unanimously from fans of it. Lewis Cox pinball flipper things would annoy me. Yeah, you, you get used to it. If you play enough Sonic Spinball, uh, that is a lot less frustrating. All right, title Tempest 3, the search for Spock. Here we go. Thanks a lot for joining us on my random game stream that I told no one I was doing because I just decided to do it about 20 minutes before we started. If you're just getting here, it's so very nice to see ya. Drop me a comment. Say hello. These bosses are so strange. Oh, that's weird. That shouldn't have worked. You can hit Robotnik without spinning. I found myself going, this is dumb, why am I doing this? And then it worked. Should I be going backwards? Should I be going forward? I'm, not, I'm actually not sure. I'm gonna try going forward and see what happens. I'm not used to this. Slipmaker Season 4 is the strongest. You know, now that you say that, I'm actually not sure if I dropped off at 3 or if I saw that season. I just can't remember. It's been too long. There we go. You know, it, not being a big boss fan, I really don't mind how easy these bosses are so far. Uh, because that first boss isn't even really a boss. You just... Okay, I guess this one actually will be. Oh, I remember this now. He's going to surround himself with bubbles like he usually... Because there's some other bosses in other Sonic games, where he'll, Genesis games, where he'll surround himself with, uh, you know, kind of orbs. And you got to get rid of them all before you can really hit him very effectively. And now you got to do it with air bubbles. This is a really clever way to do a water boss. And I don't think any of the Genesis games do it in underwater boss like this. So th this game was really pushing envelopes. This is... And, and I mean, I think a lot of fans give this its due now. Uh, back in the day, I didn't hear this come up as much because not a lot of people owned a Sonic CD and there wasn't really another way to play it. But uh, I think it's definitely got its spot in the legacy now and is considered real close, if not as good, at least as... Sonic 3, uh, or, or, or Sonic 2, because obviously Sonic 3 and Knuckles, for most people, uh, is kind of the, the uh, pinnacle um, of the Genesis era. There's a lot of people like my wife that swear by this as the best Sonic game. Rainbow Nightmare Season 5 was finally added to Netflix after two years. Yeah, that was weird. 
Um, okay, please don't tell me too much, though, because I've been kind of wondering about certain actors and if they'll come back, but I, I don't I don't actually want anybody to tell me. I, I, I want to try to just go in as cold as I can and see that happen in the show. I've been intentionally not finding out too much. Uh, I haven't even gotten to Gus in that show yet, and I'm very excited to see that happen. That, of course, I know about just because he's all over the advertising, but... No! Sometimes I think it takes maybe a little bit too long uh, to, you know, to form a stream. I'm really enjoying this, you guys. I was like, where do I go? I really thought that was going to be a conveyor belt that I had to push up against, but... Anybody else feel like we're on Krypton right now, or like the Forces of Solitude? Hello, Senior Sticks! Good to see you again. Thomas, slow graphics still hold up today? Absolutely. This game is wonderful. And you notice a lot of people played Sonic Mania that may not have been big on uh, Sonic Genesis people or had never played those games, and nobody, because that, that game sold remarkably well, and nobody complained about the graphics. You you can still make games that look like this. It's okay. God, I almost did it again. Did you see that? Okay. Uh, I don't actually know where I'm supposed to go. Should I just, like, stand here and hope that a character shows up and breaks that, or... Do I go backwards? Like, where do I go? Senior Sticks, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Cap, how did you like the Werewolf Sonic game? Well, I didn't play a ton of that. I finally tried it a few years ago. When I say a few, probably eight or nine now. I'm not sure. Because uh, I always heard not great things, and I thought that premise was bizarre, and I'm not a big 3D Sonic guy in the first place, so I just didn't bother with it. And when I finally tried it out, I played maybe a couple hours of it, and I thought the regular Sonic levels, and I know I'm not alone in this, I'm probably going to just echo a thing you know, you've heard a lot of people say, I thought the regular Sonic levels were exactly what I want from a 3D Sonic game. Uh, just what that should look like and play and feel like, and they were wonderful. And then the Werehog levels were bizarre in a different game. And I was like, man, if only I could have these regular Sonic levels. Like, just give me a linear Sonic game. I don't mean the levels themselves can't have multiple paths. I would love more of that in 3D. I just mean, you know, a level and then a level and not uh, these, like, really complicated, uh, you know, meandery hub worlds and all the busy work that a lot of those games make you do before you're allowed to progress. Uh, that That's the big thing that turns me off to a lot of 3D Sonic See, this has been pretty easy so far, and we've gotten another life, so that's good. Yeah, Sonic Unleashed. And, you know, I knew that, but I didn't feel the need to say it, I guess. <laughs> Rainbow Nightmare. Uh, somebody asked me this the other day, too, uh, maybe on the Captain Logan show. Are you looking forward to Lightyear, first animated film that'll have full IMAX scenes? I didn't know that about it. Uh, James Brolin, Josh Brolin's father, is voicing Zerd. Oh, cool, I didn't know that. Zerg is the biggest thing I'm excited about for that, because I've always loved his design, and he reminds me of Lord Zed, and, uh, yeah, I want to be excited about that. Um, I am, oh, cool, I'm a little nervous after the most recent trailers about the comedy, and the supporting cast, I'm afraid, is going to take over too much, and they look real generic so far to me. Uh, I'm not sure how to feel about the cat and all of that, uh, but this has happened to me before with Pixar things, where... I see certain characters in the trailer that I assume I'm going to find really irritating or revolting or something, and then they're fine, so... Okay, so I kind of missed in Sonic Mania... Oh, I, I was like, why didn't that hit me? Because I'm invincible at the moment. Kind of missed in Sonic Mania when you play the boss that has you do Mean Bean Machine, that this is the contraption that uh, Robotnik is in. I'm not actually sure. Hold on. What, what, do, what do I do? Do I just survive? I don't actually know how to hit anything here, so I'm going to assume that I just have to survive it and that he'll kill himself somehow? I just don't remember how this boss goes. 
Oh, yeah, that's the same contraption. I should mention, and I thought about maybe... Ugh, crud. Oh, no, I do have one ring. I thought about maybe saving this game for when Sonic Origins... Now I don't. Sonic Origins comes out. Uh, because this game will be on Origins. I don't know if you have to unlock it or anything. Uh, or if there's, like... Because there's, there's different tiers that you can buy for that game. And I don't know if you get this game with all of those. I can't remember. And I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to buy that yet. But I'm definitely getting at least some variation of that. There we go. Yeah, he does just kill himself. God, that must have driven kids crazy. Because that's very unusual for a Robotnik boss that he just kills himself. Where you'd be constantly trying to figure out how to do it. Uh... What's up, guys? Unknown passenger, would you rather have Robert Pattinson or Keanu Reeves voice Shadow the Hedgehog in the third Sonic movie? Uh, a lot of people are wanting Keanu Reeves. Uh, that sounds fun enough to me. I can't get excited about Shadow. Uh, I kind of wish we weren't doing that. I, I was... It just, it, it just my personal sensibilities. Because uh, one thing I do appreciate about those movies is, is that we more or less... Oh! That's where those things come from, too. I'm starting to appreciate some of the choices that Whitehead made for level design in, uh, ah, geez, in Sonic Mania, uh, because I know he's a huge fan of this game, and he kind of gets his start, uh, remastering this for phones and things, and that's, that's how he gets the Sonic Mania project. Uh, I like what we're doing with the Sonic sprite here, that's fun. Um, I don't remember a lot of this, but anyway, uh, those bouncy floors that are in, uh, I think, Chemical Plant are from this. So that's fun. Uh, he's not making up... I mean, I think he makes up some new mechanics, but he's not just making up new mechanics, and he's not just uh, remaking different Sonic levels. He's taking some things from some levels and throwing them in others even, which is fun. Oh, that just threw me right off. I will say this gimmick? Uh, not in love with. Let's see if I can stay on this thing long enough to get up here. Oh, come on! Anyway, what I was going to say is, one thing I, I... About the movies, one thing I do appreciate about those is that we we stick in uh, stuff based on... We don't do enough with it, but stuff based on 2D for a while. God, that ice thing is also in a level of Sonic Mania and comes from this. Uh, I was kind of hoping we could do a trilogy of that before we went to really anything 3D. I... Uh, it seems like the natural place to go would be Robotnik's gone, or is he, and then the big villain of your third movie is Metal Sonic. And I really thought that was going to be the big, the big reveal. And then we go into a laboratory, and I'm like, oh, yep, they're going to do Metal Sonic, just like I thought, and then... Nope. Oh, and these Electro things. There's so much stuff from this level that shows up in Mania, and I didn't even realize it. Um, I'm not pointing them all out. I've counted, like, five so far. It's weird. Or, or, it's cool, I should say. Those, uh, electrified rods are in... Flying Battery. In that game. I appreciate the little crowd we've drummed up here. Welcome, everybody. If you're coming in late. I am not a super experienced Sonic CD player, so I am working my way as far as I can go. I I don't know the level designs of these levels like I do a lot of the Genesis stuff. And I can tell this is about to get real mazy, and we might get stuck a little bit, but hopefully not. I'm not sure if I made the, the right choice in going... In, in time traveling, are we are we in the future or the, or the past right now? I think we're in the future. I was like, there's nowhere to go. There's the goal. I do kind of appreciate how short these levels are sometimes. So your stick says Robotnik changes bodies. Are you saying you think that that's what's going on with Shadow? Or that that's going to happen with Metal Sonic? Or that's what you want to see happen? Lewis Cox... Uh, Shadow got his own game and can drive cars. Why do you think... Why do you, a mutant speedster hedgehog, need to drive cars? No, that's... Of course, yep. And I've made fun of that for years and years and years. Uh, he wouldn't. He just chooses to. Because cool people ride cars and motorcycles. And apparently... Uh, 
uh, snowboards? I almost said hoverboards. I can't remember if that recent game is hoverboards or, or uh, snowboards. I think it's kind of... Kind of like a hoverboard thing, isn't it? I forget. I haven't done that in so long. Sonic Riders? I enjoyed that game. I should go back to it. Okay, and then, and then like these microphone-looking guys, uh, those are in Studiopolis. In Mania. Which I have done two or three videos on uh, gameplay stuff. This is a surreal experience because I feel like I'm playing a mashup of things from Sonic Mania right now as opposed to the other way around when I played Sonic Mania. Crap. That was rough. That was unlucky, but luckily I had four lives, so that part of it was lucky. Uh, that weird vehicle that you ride there uh, is in Sonic 2 or something really similar to it toward the end of that game. Senior 6, $2 Super Chat. Robotnik uses robot bodies in canon. Okay, I'm not sure what point you're making. Like, if you're expecting him... I mean, you're just making that statement. That's... Okay, interesting. I mean, that's cool. I didn't realize that, but I'm not sure what that has to do with what we were talking about. Like, are you assuming that's how he'll come back? That would be a way to bring him back without using Jim Carrey if Jim Carrey chooses not to come back. A lot of people assume he he will, even though he's uh, talking about retiring from acting, because he might be contracted or he might have said, you know, I'll, I'll do this movie for sure. But if he, if he doesn't, if he refuses... That was close. That was a little close. Uh, yes, it was Sonic Riders, and I did like that game. Yeah, but what I can't remember, Loose Cox, is if that was kind of... Uh, hoverboards are more like more like snowboards. I thought there was sort of like a futuristic kind of component to that. I think one of those games, because I think there's two of them, one of those games, I think, lets you play as knights. Thomas Lowe, would you visit Robotnik Land if it was real? No. Definitely not. I mean, if it was a theme park, sure. But I mean, if... God, I just cannot get this to go the right direction. There we go. Arr, stop it! The these are infuriating. If Robotnik built an industrial city that was all smog-infested and he had all this cruelty to animals... And you had all these things that could murder you if you tried to walk through it. Uh, no, I, I definitely would not would not do that. And the only food there is is beans that are mean. Yeah, they were hoverboards. Thanks, Lewis. Senior sticks was the Sonic Night game good? I didn't play it. That seemed like another one of those kind of desperate attempts to bring in a new crowd for Sonic by making it something it wasn't. Uh, I'm not saying you can't do it, because wasn't that kind of an RPG? Is that the one that was that was an RPG? I, I, I'm, for, I'm not sure, actually, because I never played it. Uh, but if it was, I think you could do a Sonic RPG, potentially, because Mario has made that work. But with Mario, it was like, let's see if we can do this. With Sonic, it just seems kind of desperate. Uh, and Sonic Colors, while I like that game quite a bit, certainly had that with Mario Odyssey, where it was like, well, we gotta... We just can't find the magic trigger to make people care about Sonic anymore. All right, it seems like I can't do one of these streams without us having to talk about 3D versus 2D Sonic. Oh, God. Look out. Watch out. I couldn't tell what things would hurt me. Oh, God, that was not good. That's not what you want. All right, we need to ride one of these up. And then I think he's going to be at the top. And we're going to have to try to hit him. There he is. Now we're going to have to do it again and hope we don't drop to the bottom. Oh, no! If you fall down there, 
I wonder if you just die? Or if you would have to climb your way back up. I'm actually not sure. Hopefully we won't have to find out though. Yeah, there we go. These bosses are fun. Robert Wilde, the cat can't play Sonic CD, who can? Yeah, so far I'm doing all right. I'm not going to intentionally try to make the title make sense. I mean, I didn't use the cat can't play title moniker, what have you, for uh, Don Kong Country because I knew I was, you know, half decent at that game and I was able to get through the whole thing on camera. Uh, but we could get lost and start at Speedway. We could, again, not be able to figure out how to get through that uh, Metal Sonic boss that I've just ne never been able to do. This is really relaxing, folks. How long have we been at this so far? 36 minutes! And we're already on, what, like the fourth level? Not too shabby, if I do say so myself, but I don't want to get cocky, because... We're starting to get to about the place where I do not imagine I'm all fair as well. I think maybe the reason my wife likes this game so much is because the levels are short. Hello, Austin. The Day Ghost is in the comments. Man, you talked about Sonic yesterday, so you stream Sonic today. Very nice. You know, I didn't do that on purpose, but uh, thanks so much for appreciating the accidental synergy. But yes, I did. I, in fact, uh, I talked about the whole Sonic uh, 2D versus 3D thing uh, in my episode 2 review. Because I was talking about how my experience with uh, Star Wars fans younger than me is kind of like... Uh, my experience with Sonic fans younger than me who appreciate a thing they grew up with in a way that I have a difficult time doing. This music is nice, but I do kind of wish that we could stream The American just because I haven't, I haven't heard it in a long time and I've heard this stuff more recently. little bit of slowdown or just lower frame rate there, and I'm assuming it's not the game and it's maybe just my machine or Steam or something. I'm not sure. I wonder if you had that kind of slowdown. You know, it would be difficult to, like, review games like this, uh, you know, accurately or purely playing them on newer hardware because it's, it's hard to say, you know, when you run into something like slowdown, or frame rate issues and stuff. It's hard to say, uh, wow, this game really... Because I've seen people do this with emulators. We're like, wow, this game really slows down. And I'm like, did it originally? Like, I'm not sure. Oh, Austin, are you are you saying that you... Are you talking about falling asleep during Sonic 2? Or are you, or, or you did you just fall asleep during watching the movie you're watching right now? Didn't you just get back from work? Okay. I think... This is going to be the part where we're going to have trouble. I remember this being real difficult. Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to hit him or not. I'm assuming I just have to... Not die? I don't think I have to outpace him. Maybe that was the mistake I made before where I was trying to hit him and I, I didn't have to, I just had to survive. Because so far it's been much more about surviving. He's kind of just a nuisance. This is going to be a weird thing to say and while I'm trying to do this, I, I'm not going to have a chance to really explain myself. Oh man, there we go. Alright, we've already lost one life with that. 
but in a way, I'm, I feel like I'm seeing uh, a little bit of the design, or at least the sensibilities of knights in this game. Like, they're two very, very different things, but of course, some of the same developers worked on both, and there's just a vibe I'm, I'm getting from this, and maybe a little bit of kind of level choices and stuff. Dang it! I avoided it last time. I'm pretty sure Sonic CD was this was the straight up Sonic team, and it wasn't like a like a different team that made it. But I don't know that for sure. It's been a while since I watched anything on the history of this game. Guys, I will look at comments again. I uh, after a bit, I want to see if I can get through this. If I die again, I'll maybe pause and see what you guys are saying. Yeah, well, I. I'm redeeming myself a little bit by not hitting every single group of spikes. <laughs> oh no! That sucks! Usually I get a lot farther than this. Uh, like, this isn't where I die. I mean, I die on this thing, but I feel like there's a place in this where I just don't even know what I'm supposed to do, is what I remember. Okay, I said I was going to read comments. Uh, let, let me try to play through this one more time before I do that. Let's see if we can time this right this time. Yeah, there we go. There we go. No! It's alright, I got some rings. Don't panic, me. I wish I could have gotten up there. I almost did a minute ago. Did you see that? I want to, like, bounce off that box. Okay, I just heard... And I, and I know I'm right about this. Uh, in the soundtrack, I never noticed that before. There's a voice sample. Man, that sucks. Okay, I'm going to pause for a second. There's a voice sample that is used in the first Virtua Fighter. That goes, get down! That's pretty cool. I never noticed that before. This whole playthrough is just worth that for me. Uh, finding that out. Mana, there's a demo for Sonic RPG based on the Saturday morning cartoon on PC. It's great. Wow, I've never, I've never uh, heard about that. Interesting. Oh, Austin didn't have to uh, work all day today. I'm sorry to hear about your granddad, man. Um, day Ghost, whoa, this laser is no good. Yeah, this, this is rough. Um, okay, so I'm going to really focus on this and see what I can do. And uh, I can't remember how continuing in this game works exactly. It's been a while. So I don't know if I have to, you know, rack them up like you do in the Genesis games. Or if I just automatically get it. If I have to just start over with Stardust, I will because we've been doing okay with this. But I've got one life to get through this and I don't expect that I will. But let's see how we do. All right. Avoided that. Let's really hunker down. It's all right. It's all right. Move forward. Man, I'm hitting everything but the lottery here. It's really hard to time it where you don't hit those. Just having to deal with stupid Metal Sonic. I say stupid Metal Sonic. He, he, he is my favorite Sonic villain, but... Oh, come on, come on, come on. He's stupid right now. I don't like, I don't like what he's doing to me. Get take it every single time! And there's my game over. Sorry for the screaming. I apologize for the screaming. Um, I thought I set this up where there would be multiple comments on the screen. Maybe I should raise this up a little bit. I'll put it up here. Wait, is that it? Is that all you get? Do we, would we have to start all over? Seriously? No, you, okay, It's it saves us at Stardust 3. Well, we'll just keep going. We'll just keep working at it then. See how we can do. All right, here we go. Okay, so up there, they're teasing us with an extra life. I don't know how you'd get that. 
I don't know if that's even possible, but all right, there it is. I don't know if those are possible to get either. Let's see if I can backtrack and get up there. Did you hear that? Get down. That's that's from the first Virtual Fighter. Developed by AM2. That that's just wild to hear that in a different context, even even if it is you know another Sega game. <laughs> sticks. Is Metal Sonic a villain or just a misunderstood toaster? Because Metal Sonic can can make toast. Robert Wilde, uh, Cap, try spinning. That's a neat trick. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll try spinning. Well, we become pros at getting around that laser. <laughs> we have not figured out how to get around those. Okay. I'm going to try a different strategy. I'm going to try trailing behind him and taking my time more instead of speeding up and see if I can just let him destroy those things for me. I was just a little bit worried about Robotnik and about speed and stuff, but I think I can make this work, actually. I'm going to try it. Maybe this is the way to do it. We're going to get killed by Robotnik, aren't we? Okay, I'm going to speed up here a little bit. There we go. There we go. You got to do a bit of both. You gotta be Star Lord. You gotta do a bit of both, man. If if he's that close to you when you hit one of those spikes, you're you're screwed. Well, the good news is we basically have unlimited continues here, so we can keep trying at this. We're about 47 minutes in. I tell you what, I'm gonna keep trying to get through this at least until the hour mark, and then at that point I'll reassess and decide if I'm gonna keep going and waste our time with it, but I want to get past this because I've never done it. I don't think. I don't think I've ever seen past this part of the game. I'm not even sure how much longer the game is. Um, I always assume this is about the halfway point, but uh, I don't know. I've never looked at a ton of gameplay from this game because I kind of didn't want too much of it spoiled for me. And for forever, I've been thinking I want to do a full-on gameplay of Sonic CD. And here we are, making the attempt. At least the music's good. All right, let's get past him. No, 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 no. We did it again. We made the same mistake. DJ uh, Malkehi, will you ever review the Snyder Cut? Uh, I mean, the plan is to do as much of every superhero movie ever made as possible. Uh, so yes, eventually... I will do a rewind on that. Hello again, AMC. Mana says something about a fan game. It's basically Sonic. For, what's basically Sonic for? I'm not. I'm not sure what we're talking about. Um, Mania? Is that what we're talking about? Uh, I am excited about Origins, and uh, I'll probably stream something from that when it comes out. If you haven't noticed, guys, I am uh, very much a retro gamer. These days, very proudly. For a long time, I was trying to get a lot more into newer stuff, and there's some things that I'm still curious about, but for the most part, man, I'm just much more about this era and right after it than anything. And there's so much great stuff I've never bothered with that I'd like to stream. I keep trying to decide if I want to... Try man... So what's not fair about Robotnik here is that that beam kills you regardless of whether you have rings, apparently. Or am I getting, like, stuck up against it in the back of the screen? I'm not sure. But what I was, what I was gonna say is I'm, I'm trying to decide if when I stream stuff I haven't played before, if I want to, you know, play it quite a bit first and get half-decent at it or try things for the first time on screen. It just might be more boring for people doing it that way. Because I hate to do this where you have to watch me play the same part of a level 6,000 times.
but how else are we gonna do it? You know, we, we just, if we don't, we won't learn nothing. If Robotnik kills me, no, I'll actually learn quite a bit from that experience. Get a ring, get a ring, get a ring, get a ring! So, can he not kill me if he's not lit up? I feel like I'm figuring out more of the rules of this as we're going. <laughs> Robert Wilde, Robotnik is unfair. Captain Logan, 2022. Yes, indeed. Um. Yeah, okay. Uh, DJ McCall, hey, I've, I've talked about this a lot before, uh, but the right now, in my mind, worst superhero movie I've reviewed, that honor goes to Son of the Mask. Tom, $2 Super Chat, it's called Cap Can't Play, Not Cap's Half Decent Ad. Yeah, but uh, I knew we were going to get stuck here, and if you have to watch me play this for half an hour, that title will make a great deal of sense. We are at 51 minutes. I've been at this for at least 10, I think, so... No, 15, right? Didn't I say 35 minutes right as we got to this part? I'm grooving to the 90s hip-hop, you guys. Get down! Man... I almost made it up there. I don't know if you can. It's like they put that block there so that it's impossible. Uh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Okay. Okay, don't get tense, don't get flustered. Uh, just do the thing. Just do the thing! You're making us look like jerks! Ah, 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 you didn't say the magic word. I'm excited about Jurassic House 2. I'm going to be out of town when it comes out. Uh, I might try to go to the theater and see it while I'm out of town. I just thought of that. Maybe I'll do a quick sign flip video before we do... I'm planning on a spoiler cast. I guess it just depends on how much is in that movie and how much I feel like I have to say about it, but I'll do some kind of video on the new Jurassic World movie. It at least has a better title than the last one. Oh, I still can't believe there's a Virtual Fighter reference in this game. Nobody else cares, but that's very exciting to me. Virtual Fighter is my favorite fighting game franchise. And a lot of why I'm kind of a Sega nod. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Oh, no, no, no! Well, I got farther than I had. All right. Do or do not do, there is no try. You know, Siota didn't feel the need to do the inverted word order with that. Try there is none of. Do or do not. There is no try. Oh, God, come on. Quit hitting the spikes. Although now I'm starting to figure out where they are. Well, that seemed like a good idea, but alas, friends. It's kind of a timing thing with the spin dash, because it's easy to... Man, this sucks. This is hard. It's just hard. <laughs> uh, AMC, Cat, maybe you could stream some of those prequel era Star Wars games you were saying you've been in the mood for recently. I would love to. I don't have a great way to do that because uh, those are on PS2, and that's not a system that uh, I have a way right now to get into my capture card. So I'm not sure how I'd do it.
And I've been having a hard time with stuff with my capture card on, on Switch, where there's just a bit of a delay. And so I don't play as well. Sometimes the Cap Can't Play title is as much about the technology as anything. I know it sounds like an excuse, but it's true. That was dumb. That was dumb. Now I'm starting to just get kind of kind of frustrated. Kind of frustrated. 56 minutes. Oh, God. Okay, let's try it again. Let's try it again. I'm not even going to apologize for this because I knew this was going to happen. Um, I just, I suck at this part. I'm just glad that we're actually able to keep starting here. Uh, now, is this all in the original game, uh, this menu, or is this just uh, the way Steam has it set up? I'm really not sure. All right, we're gonna pretend like we haven't been doing this for 20 minutes. We're gonna treat it like the first time, except we know more. Ooh! Kabam, kabam, kabam. All right, folks, here goes nothing. Just keep landing on that, God. Oh, first time. Mm, nope, nope, nope. Yes! Mm, yeah. Oh, good, good, good. I keep thinking I'm gonna die. Yeah, I made it up here. Is it gonna matter? Is there... Well, it, it got me further ahead of Robotnik anyway. Not far enough. Okay, so that doesn't help all that much, really. No, it does not. All right. You guys, this is rough. I just really want to get past this. I've never seen past this part. Robert Wilde, Cap, how many impressions can you do? Uh, I can do several impressions. The real question is how many decent impressions can I do? I used to do a lot more impressions than I do now. It's it's hard to even remember everything that I used to do. When I, when I was younger, I was a little bit more of an impressions guy. Uh, I used to do... Uh, Patrick Stewart a lot that was much more of a Sean Connery, which I've done on camera. And uh, when I was a kid, I did a Jim Carrey. And I did a, a pretty decent Jim Carrey. And then my voice changed and I couldn't do it anymore. Um, that was lucky. I forget what else I used to do. Uh, yeah, I do an OK Yoda. Man, I don't even know how I hit that. That was weird. I'm gonna get through this, man. I hate that I've never seen past this. Uh, you guys don't have to stay. You really don't. We actually have more concurrent viewers than we have this entire time right now, and I've been at this part for 20 minutes. It's like now that it's Cap Can't Play. Folks are here to watch me crash and burn. I see how it is. Really appreciate the support, everybody. Thanks so much. Nah, you guys are great. I wish I had more time to do stuff like this. There's kind of other things I should be doing even right now. But I can kind of get away with it, so I'm doing it. I was like, you know what I really want to do right now? I want to get as much of Geekvolution as possible to show up and watch me embarrass myself once again. That's what I feel like doing this evening. If Spawn Year taught us anything, it's that I'm a masochist. Damn it. I... I <laughs> uh, man, that's why memorization is very important in these high-speed platformer games. Yeah, and then with this, it's not just memorization. It's also momentum. Slowing down, speeding up at the right times. It's making me use muscles that I'm not entirely used to with the Sonic games, I think, is part of it. We're like, yeah, it's there, but it's never been quite to this degree, I guess. It's funny, I should be more irritated even than I am 
in like just not even wanting to continue forward. But I don't know, I'm determined, man. I really want to do this finally. Stop hitting everything. I thought I was a goner. I don't know if it would help if I could outrun the whole kit and caboodle here. Man. <laughs> Robert Wilde, at least the live stream wasn't false advertising. I told you it wouldn't be. I told you. Fred Rico, it's always nice to see someone playing Sonic CD. Just relax. I'm trying. <laughs> but I also hate thinking there's all these there's like, all these there's some folks hanging out with me and they're having to watch me do the same part over and over again uh, mana I suggest focusing on staying on the stage instead of trying to get ahead of Metal Sonic um, yeah like I'm not intentionally trying to get ahead but there's places where I feel like I have to it's basically like dealing with uh, an auto scroll level, really. I, uh, you know what? That's the part of it that's that makes it so difficult that I'm not used to with Sonic. Sonic's Sonic doesn't have a lot of auto scroll, and that's essentially what this is. I guess with, there's some bosses that do, but yeah, I'm not trying to outrun Metal Sonic. I'm trying to outrun Robotnik because uh, if I don't get momentum, I can't get up these hills. So like, I don't think I can take it that slow. And I was trying to do it that way a minute ago, and it kind of worked. But I keep wondering if if the better idea would be to attempt to outrun both of them, but I'm, I'm not sure it is. I'm not convinced of that. Yeah, see? If I stay behind him, I'll, I'll run into him. I haven't quite developed the right strategy, clearly. We're going to get there, guys. We're going to do it. Robert Wilde, what's your go-to inspirational music? I mean, I can tell you music I like. Um, inspirational is in, like, puts me in the mood to be productive and stuff like that is absolutely the, the Batman Begins soundtrack talked about that before that's a big one for me um there's a bluegrass rock band called nickel creek that i would say somewhat falls in that category senior sticks to all super chat uh next big idea sonic year <laughs> yeah i saw you say that earlier uh i don't even know what that would look like I mean, would it be reviewing Sonic comics? Because I don't think anybody would show up for that. Or would it just be this? <laughs> or it's just me sucking at Sonic games constantly. Tank your channel year. Would not be the first time people are like, Cap, what are you what are you doing? Who here is really good at this game and has beaten it and has a better strategy than what I'm using right now? Who knows the code? I just keep running into him when he's lit up. That That's what's killing me. Because then I end up hitting that light. No, you don't, Austin. Shut up. Thomas, slow. This game is really kicking you where it hurts. But I knew it was going to. Like I said, I just, I've never been able to figure this out. Are we at hour five? 
I was thinking about quitting in an hour if I couldn't get past this. But I, I really want to try for at least a few, a few more minutes. I really do. Don't feel the need to stick around, okay? But I, I just, I just don't want to give up yet. I don't want to give up. I'm not gonna say never give up. I'm not gonna do the never give up, never surrender thing, but. Cause the day might come, the day. We're gonna we're gonna be here for days. It will be Sonic Year. Sonic Year begins right now. Let's just see just how far I can jump. Yeah, he just he lights up like that and I land on him. I don't know how to not do that. Cause I'm mm. Mana, you always die for Metal Sonic's dash attack. Don't try to stay ahead of the enemy too much. Focus more on staying alive. Well I'm yeah, I'm trying. When you say don't focus on staying ahead of the enemy, you have to stay ahead of Robotnik because he's got a beam that kills you regardless of rings. That's what I'm trying to stay ahead of. Um, it may look like I'm trying to stay ahead of Metal Sonic, but I, I actually really am just trying to stay alive. I'm trying to avoid him when he's lit up like that, and sometimes I can't because I'm also trying to avoid, avoid spikes and stuff. But yeah, like, I've been kind of riding behind him as much as I can. But the problem is to get enough momentum to get over certain places, you just end up ahead of him. Like, I'm not doing that on purpose. Watch, I'll just try to ride behind him the whole time. And then I'm not going to have the momentum I need to get up certain hills and stuff. See, I'm going to try to prove my point, And then that guy's going to be totally right. Yeah, see? Like, you have to jump ahead of him sometimes. Or he lights up and you get caught between him and Robotnik. You get, you know, it's a metaphor for life. You get caught between a Metal Sonic and a Robotnik. Oh, I don't know, man. If, if Spawn Gear didn't kill me, I, I don't think Sonic Gear would. Uh, man, I don't mean to argue with you. I, I appreciate your, your help and your advice. Um, I just... I'm just trying to concentrate more on the momentum, but I mean, it's not working, obviously, so. God, come on. Yeah. Austin, I don't think you can get behind Eggman. I also don't know if you're joking. Because Austin's not usually actually trying to be helpful. He's usually just messing with you. Whoa. I didn't expect him to do that yet. I wonder how hard the game gets after this part. At some point, the game just becomes this. Yeah, so you can't get behind him. Junior Stick says I might need a break. I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm not playing any better or worse than I was. You might be right, though. I'm going to try this one more time. And then, yeah, I might... I might keep the stream going. And go off for three or four minutes and come back. I know it's been forever. I just don't know how to do it. I'm trying. 
Thanks, Austin. You're so helpful, man. You're the best! I mean that as sincerely as you mean the things you just said. DJ, maybe speed up past Metal Sonic uh, when he isn't lighting up and only ride behind Metal Sonic only when he lights up. Um, I mean, I just can't always time it. Like, I mean, maybe the problem is I'm just not paying enough attention to when he lights up and when he doesn't. Like, figuring out exactly that. But is there a pattern? Or do you mean, like, when he's lighting up? What is it you were saying? Speed past him when he's not lit up. I mean... Yeah, I'm gonna do it one more time. And then I'm gonna take a break. That's my plan. This would be a fun time attacking. We can't even get through it. Uh, starved artist, you can pass Metal Sonic, and when he catches up, let him pass. And also Sonic's running dash to keep up. What do you mean by running dash? Like, is that something different than a spin dash? Because I thought I remembered um, from from some video I saw some maneuver that I didn't know you could do in this game, but I can't. I'm not seeing how to do it. Thomas, all that stupid music. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're having to listen to the same music all, constantly. Okay, if there's another dash, tell me how to do it. Because I, I I don't actually know how to do that. I've always been playing this like a regular Sonic game. I kind of forgot until you until you just said that, that there was another thing in this. problem was I just missed that jump. S some of the issue has just been bad platforming, to be honest with you. Okay, um... I was gonna take a break. I'm gonna go ahead and quit, I think, because there's apparently a maneuver I don't even know how to do with this. Uh, so what I'll do is uh, I'll play this on my own a little bit at some point and uh, try to figure out how to get past this level, and then I'll come back and stream after that, I think. Um... I kind of hate to quit because I really wanted to get through this, but we're already like an hour and 15 in. We've been playing the same uh, level for uh, well over half an hour, so uh, I guess 45 minutes now. So yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and quit streaming tonight, but thanks everybody uh, a lot for hanging out with us, with me, and I hope you had a good time. And uh, I'll bring this back again at some point. Uh, I'm going to figure out how to get past this part. I'm hesitating. I'm hesitating because I really hate leaving it here. I really hate leaving it here. You know what? No, I'm going to do what I was going to do in the first place. I'm going to take a couple minute break. I'm going to come back. I'm going to try it again. And then I'm going to leave if I can't get through it. Uh, I'll see you guys in just a couple minutes. If you decide to stick around.
Okay, folks, I'm back, and I have looked up this other dash, and I'm going to try it right now. Oh, there it is. Peel out dash. So you press up, but you still have to be standing still to do it. So I'm not 100% sure what the advantage is over a spin dash, because I've never dealt with it, but... But I'm going to try to incorporate it and see if somehow that helps. At least I know how to do it now. Yeah, I forgot all about that. Like, maybe I can make that happen faster. Yeah, than a spin dash. It looks like... I might have more control over it as well. Wow, that got me higher, too. That might be just what I was missing. We'll see. Man, I just couldn't get up that. That section there is really hard to maneuver. Unknown passenger cheater revolution. I, I cheated because I looked up how to do a thing? Thomas Lowe can cap clear the level this time? I mean, we'll find out. I'm determined, man. This fool needs to stop it with the lighting up in front of me. I, I hate it. He needs to quit doing that. It's kind of more advantageous to do this other speed move, though, because spinning doesn't help me avoid anything at all in this level. It's almost like it was made for this thing. Well, if nothing else, we learned how to do a new thing. And that's always good. Oh man, I just didn't have enough time. All right. I feel a little bit better about it now that I know how to do that. I don't know if we'll get it tonight, but I'm gonna try. Yeah, I keep getting 40 rings. That's been helping us. Hey, you guys feel free to talk amongst yourselves there in the comments about whatever you want to while I'm trying to figure this nonsense out. That's why we get 40. That's why. It's funny, you almost have to move like Metal Sonic. It's like, we, we have to move like they do. Because he's not spinning. Come on. Come on. Come on, mate. Ah. Yeah, then you slow down, like... I should have had to be fast enough in that section. That's what's killing me right now. I'm, I'm gonna do these three lives and then I think I'm gonna call it quits if I can't get through it. It's laughing at me like like it knows. Man, why do I keep getting hit by that now? 
just flustered at this point. Jeez. What was that about pork chop sandwiches? Somebody's talking about pork chop sandwiches. I don't, I don't even know. I don't have any rings. There we go. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I got no rings. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. No! This is so difficult. Man. Usually you have to get all the way to, to the end of a game before you get to... <laughs> it's this hard. Unless it's just me. I don't know. Oh, thanks, Austin. He says if I beat this, he's going to take me for uh, some frosty chocolate milkshakes. That, that's, a, that's a Simpsons reference. And now almost an inside joke. With us, but it's a Simpsons joke as well. Yikes. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate you, buddy. I'm trying. I don't know if we'll see it tonight, but eventually, man, someday we'll get there. Hour and 25 minutes. I've done this for almost an hour. Just this part. Well, I felt good about the first 35 minutes of this stream. Man, I just keep getting too close to him in an accident. I didn't even think I was that close. It's weird that he makes a spin dash noise, because he's not spin dashing. And sometimes when Sonic spins in this, he also doesn't make that sound. I, I, don't, I don't know why uh, Metal Sonic does. Why does he sound like that? Like, I thought that was me earlier when I was spin dashing, but now I haven't been. Because I'm finding there's no reason to spin dash. There's kind of no reason at the moment to dash at all. I'm finding. Here, here, here. Come on, come on, come on. I don't I don't even know what's coming because I haven't gotten this far yet. Come on. Okay, well. I mean, we got that much closer. I just don't know how much longer the level is. That electric spark slows Metal Sonic down. Jump over that. Oh, now you've gotten rid of that comment. Okay. It's Groundhog Day, says Robert Wilde. <laughs> Except we get to witness Gap losing his mind. <laughs> yep. It does kind of feel like that, doesn't it? Yikes. Oh, I didn't even see that there. Jeez. Yeah, and then he lit up. I'm not sure there is a pattern to that. Okay, I know I keep saying this, but I'm, I'm going to do this one more time. Because I got farther. One of these days. One of these days! 
we went from everybody going, why does it even say Cap can't play in the title to, oh, th this video, uh, that, that title makes more sense than it's ever made. It's the epitome of Cap can't play at this point. He planned it all along. Secretly, the whole thing was scripted. It's actually a horror film. I've been making it in one take. This is my pitch to Blumhouse. Yeah, I need to figure out a way to use Metal Sonic more to my advantage, I think. Nah, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, that was dumb. Again, sometimes it's just bad platforming. I can't outrun that. <laughs> Oh, maybe you could use the dash to get that other life. I mean, it kind of doesn't matter since I've got unlimited continues, but... There it is. That's how you do it. He's right. Oh, and it makes you fast. We can at least get here quicker. Oh. I don't know how long it lasts, though. It's not going to be anything like long enough, is it? Nope. I've already lost it. Be nice if you could use that. <sighs> Jeez. Gotta make these jumps better. Oh, I didn't see that up there. I would have taken that route. There we go. I don't I don't know what to do there. What do you do there? I was already I was all the way at the end of it. Um what do you what do you do there? <sighs> Man, I'm not even sure it's going to make sense to keep going without looking that up or something. Um, does anybody know when, when you when you get to that part? Because there's, there's just a couple of blocks that I don't think you could spin through or anything, maybe. Um, yeah, if you know, somebody tell me how to do that. I don't like Sonic talking. Stop talking, Sonic. You have to beat Metal Sonic there. Do I just jump on him once? I mean, because that beam is coming at me. Mana, you're absolutely right that you, you want to jump over him when he's doing the lightning thing. Yep, that is that is correct, sir. No! Ah! I didn't mean to hit him. I mean, obviously I didn't mean to hit him, but... You have to make it past the block area before Metal Sonic, I think. Okay, so it does turn into a race at that point. If you, if you are right. Okay. I'm just going to keep doing this so that we don't have to go back to the menu. I wish we could use the speed 
more to our advantage. I don't know what the point of it is, except just to get us here faster. I think you just run through it, but you jumped. You might be right, Austin. I'm just so used to jumping over things. I'm sorry it took me this long to figure some of this out, guys. I can be slow on the uptake with this stuff. No, 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 no. I just couldn't get up that hill. What's on top of the loop? Uh, there's some rings up there, I think. I don't know that it's going to help us to have that many more rings, really. <laughs> Whoops. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. too intimidated by Metal Sonic. Nah, jeez. Wow. Uh, Austin, you got you got blocked. Your comment got blocked for saying men sucks. He, he's talking about the movie and YouTube won't let him say men sucks. I guess it's like if you said the, the word black or something, like, we, like we've like we had issue with before. Okay, let's see, because those exact two blocks are there at the end. But, yeah, but Metal Sonic doesn't do anything to break through it. They just break, or they just open. Nope, I jumped at the wrong time there. As you might expect, my hands are getting numb too. So yeah, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna do this, but we just got so close. It's driving me nuts. Yeah, I may try one more time, but men 2022 is trash. You, you also can't say, apparently. Whoa. I clicked away, I guess. Oops. Men are black and being rude to them sucks. Yep, you can't say that either. Men, men are black? Some men are black, Austin, that's true. And some men are not. Thomas Lowe, we can't even say men suck now? Apparently not. I mean, it is a pretty broad statement, though, you know? Like, some men suck. Some women suck. Some everybody sucks. It's just how it is, man. You just gotta deal with it. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. Come on, get up the hill! Yeah, come on, come on, come on. My my fingers hurt. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna. My my hands hurt now. I can't do this anymore. Um, I am gonna come back at some point and try more of this. I think. 
Uh, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Uh, I'm sorry for the sure amount of time I spent on this and we still didn't get, didn't get through it. Uh, but we saw it close to the end. I was almost there. I'm going to get going. Uh, I've got other things i got to do tonight. But uh, thanks for hanging out with me. I sure appreciate it. This is sometimes just how it goes on Cap Can't Play. Anyway, uh, I will be back tomorrow night with a review with Austin on uh, Infinity Wars uh, from Marvel, uh, the, the comic event from 2018. That was our request for this week. And then uh, Thursday night, Kevin Logan Show. Uh, Wednesday night, Jason and I are going to do some more Power Rangers comics. Next week, uh, I should mention, I'm going to be uh, out of town. So we'll do a little bit of content while I'm out of town, but not some of the normal stuff. So I'm still, like like I said, going to attempt to do a Rewind Sunday night. Uh, but hopefully that is in the cards. Uh, and if not, I will do it 